EAD was always designed to be just an interim stopgap standard, right? Then um, it w Daniel Pitty was pretty explicit when he was doing the Berkeley Finding Aids project um, initially, that this was just an attempt to turn into electronic form practices that had been developed in paper, but not sitting down and saying what, that this was really the kind, either the ideal information system or necessarily a web-based information system. Um, so the idea of doing um, um, a, a standard that is more tied into the way the web is going, um, a kind of semantic web standard, um, strikes me as being something that would be really important. And if I was back doing, um, still worrying about archival description, <laughs> that's where I would be heading. And the idea of linked open data, I mean, ever since uh, we first started doing MARC records um, for archival MARC AMC records in the ROG system, archivists were hollering and saying, hey, we need to have archival authority control. And isn't that what things like EAC and the idea of linking EAC and EAD together um, is all about? So being able to link out to um, biographical information um, and corporate history information and other um, component parts. Um, I think we just make um, it makes sense in archival terms about trying to understand about um, an, a, a provenential based approach to information and it would also make archives much more directly tied into um, web search engines and, and web information and make our resources seem uh, much more usable. So uh, I'm excited about that um, um, potential. The interesting question is that one always wants to sit down and do work that is in line with what is acceptable um, broader practice. Um, EAD works well because it's, um, we have our community and we understand it and, and we can work with it and that's fine. Um, is the semantic web we're really going to develop and take off and, and become where the web is headed? Um, I just think so. Um, but if we guess wrong, then we've wasted a lot of time uh, recoding everything. But I think that the um, idea of um, conceptually, there's an awful lot in um, ORE that seems to fit into archival practice and the idea of saying let's take archival practice and make it compatible with modern web technologies um, and get beyond the SGML, um, XML, um, HTML um, constructs um, that EAD were built around is uh, would be a good thing.